Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk about the latest update to WordPress 4.6 aka Pepper. Alright, so this update is made possible by a great team of contributors, over 272 of them, led by Dominic Schilling and Garth Mortensen, who both led their team to develop the 4.6 version of WordPress. Uh, so thank you to Dominic and thank you to Garth and the rest of the team for your contributions. All right, so what's changed in this latest version? A lot of good things uh, that people have been wanting to address. There have been over 489 open tickets that have been closed because of this latest update. So that's phenomenal. Uh, these are some of the issues that were addressed. Administration, autosave, uh, the bootstrap load, build test tools. You can see all the different changes and updates that they've made to address issues in previous versions of, um, of WordPress. So they really did a lot of work on this latest version. All right, so before you update, as always, I recommend that you back up your database and back up your WordPress files just in case you have to revert back to a previous version for whatever reason. It's always good to have a backup and a great backup solution that I recommend is Backup WordPress. It's a free plugin available on the WordPress repository, recently updated, and it's very popular as you can see. All right, so now what's what else has changed within the newest version? All right, so there's easier updates. It introduces a way uh, to have in-page updating, which is great. It, instead of having to navigate to another page to see the updates happen, now they happen in page. So it's just a user experience um, benefit that people you know, will, will most likely enjoy. So now native fonts. Now what is this? Well, previously they used Open Sans for the WordPress dashboard, and that could that slowed down the loading of the dashboard and the administration section of WordPress because they used a, not, a non-native font. So now it'll be faster because they're using system native fonts. Also, there's broken link highlighting, which means if you have a poorly constructed URL or link, it'll identify that highlighted in red so that way you can fix it. Another great uh, feature is browser content caching. So what does this mean? This means that if you're drafting a blog post and you save a draft or auto save, you know, happens, when you start continuing to type out, if you accidentally try to reload the page, you'll get a notification that something uh, is different and that you have to, um, you know, do you want to revert back to the other version? So it's a nice little feature that will hopefully enhance your blogging experience by not having you lose your place. Then there's a bunch of other great features like enhanced metadata registration, multi-site, uh, performance improvements, resource hints for performance improvements, customizer uh, improvements, and a bunch of others that really do make this a great update. Again, most of the issues that were addressed can be found here on the Make WordPress Core. This is the track area, so this is a good thing to check out. All right, so there is on the codex of WordPress, if we go to the version underscore 4.6, and the codex.wordpress.org URL, you're going to get more information about the, the update itself. So shiny updates, like I mentioned, native fonts in the administration section, import screen overhaul. So they updated the way the, the importer operates, made it look nicer and function better. There's internationalization improvements, editor improvements, emoji improvements, and for developers, these are some of the developer-centric type issues that were addressed, resolved, and updated. So definitely check out this page on the WordPress Codex. Then there's a field guide also. If you go to make.wordpress.org core and then follow this URL, WordPress-4-6-field guide, you'll get some more information about the various changes within the uh, the the latest version of WordPress and it shows you you know what these are and explains some of them in further detail so if you want to get some more information about that you know definitely check out the WordPress 4.6 field guide and then multi-site which is a an advanced version of WordPress which allows you to have multiple 
websites either in a subdirectory format or subdomain format and even with domain mapping to make them look like they're individual websites not part of a larger network um, there's been some major improvements as well to the multi-site functionality of, uh, of WordPress with this latest release and you can see some of the changes here on the make WordPress core and go to the multi-site focus changes and then the customizer has a significant amount of enhancements as well so you can find the customizer uh, updates and improvements that have taken place and then translation so um, WordPress developers need to have their um, themes and plug plugins uh, translatable so there's special ways to do that and then these are the languages that are supported and you can see them all here so you can get to this page by going to translate.wordpress.org and again this is specifically for our developers you know who are creating themes and plugins and then there's also the code reference so what this is it gives you the updates to different uh, functions and code that WordPress uses and the updates that they impact or new additions to code um, on this particular page the developer.wordpress.org reference and then since 4.6.0 so follow that URL and you'll count you'll see the latest changes updates modifications and new additions inside the um, the code snippet for WordPress all right so basically this update is a really good one that addresses 489 issues that was previously presented a lot of them are user experience uh, issues uh, something that makes the process of administering your website and or you know keeping your blog post in order a lot smoother so that's always a great thing to to check out and it's a lot of things that have been resolved again Dominic Schilling and Garth Mortensen along with 272 other uh, contributors made this possible thank you to those uh, two guys and their team and always make sure you back up your database and your files to ensure that no issues uh, can't be undone if you update and somehow for some reason your website breaks at least you can revert back and in order to do that you do need backups so definitely check out this backup here all right hopefully you found this episode helpful it just wanted to bring to light some of the new uh, features that have been introduced in the latest version of WordPress if you like the video give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because we'll go over some more ways to manage your WordPress powered website and tips and tricks and we'll keep you updated on latest changes you know to the platform and to the software itself and where to find information I think that you know the biggest thing is where do you get the information from the sources matter and you know these are some of the links that I'll leave down below so you can check them out um, yourself so again don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel give us a thumbs up if you have any thoughts ideas or comments leave them down below and I'll take a look at those and I'll see you in the next episode Take care.